Hi guys, it's Monica and I am doing a collab. Yeah, I haven't done a collab in a long time and I'm super excited about this one and I hope you are too. So stay tuned. <laughs> The collab that I'm doing with doing this with is two lovely ladies. One I know that almost everyone that watches my videos is going to know, and that is Natalie the Beauty Diva. I've known Natalie, oh my gosh, for years on YouTube now. And before uh, we even really started to talk to each other a lot, I was watching her videos and I thought she was one of the first beauty YouTubers that I actually found on YouTube when I did a search for mature skin or makeup and stuff like that. I found Natalie's video and since that time Natalie and I have been really close. She has been super super supportive. She is absolutely gorgeous. She has such amazing skill with makeup every look she's ever created has just been beautiful and I have learned so much from her not only from makeup perspective of application but skin care Natalie and I collabed years ago on Retin-A my journey her journey she'd been on her Retin-A journey for a long long time I had just started and we did this collab you know Retin-A after one year and she was like after 20 years um, or something of that nature. So we did some Retin-A collabs, which to this day have, has been my highest viewed video series is my series on Retin-A. And, and so I owe a lot of that to Natalie because Natalie's the one that really taught me a ton of stuff about Retin-A and about skin care and also about YouTube. So I was deeply honored when Natalie reached out to me We've been chatting. We chat on a, um, an app called Voxer. We chat almost every day. And she mentioned this collab. And so I said, yeah, I'd love to do this collab. And the interesting thing, thing about the collab is that um, she's doing it with somebody that I had connected with quite a while ago, but somehow we, she fell off my radar and I fell off her radar, I'm sure. But it's Julia's B Beauty, and Julia is just absolutely a lovely lady. I'm gonna link both Natalie and Julia's videos below, but Julia is Romanian, and so she speaks with a heavy accent, and she just reminds me, it's a comfortable accent for me because she reminds me of my family, my mother, um, the relatives that we have in Germany. She currently lives, I believe, in the Czech Republic, and she is like, if you go back and watch some of her earlier videos, I think she's been on YouTube for quite a while, but I think she really started to ramp up her video production maybe three years ago or something like that, which is probably when we first connected. And um, But she has, a, she has a ton of videos out there, and she is like a true makeup guru. She loves anything to do with makeup, um, the application, the product. She does a lot of great reviews. And on top of that, she's an IT manager. You know, IT, I'm like going, wow, IT to makeup. Wow. But, um, but she is just beautiful. And so when Natalie said this was going to be a collab with her, I was like, oh, wow, checked out her channel. I subscribed. As soon as I played her video, I remembered exactly. So early on, we were connected. But like anything else in YouTube world, you know, sometimes you, you can be subscribed to someone. You have, can have the bell, you know, check that little bell to be rung. But you, YouTube won't give you a notification. And, you know, if I'm away on vacation or whatever, I'm not going to be cruising YouTube and all that but so somehow over the course of time we got disconnected not unsubscribed but disconnected so I'm super thrilled she's a beautiful person I encourage you highly to go check out her video and of course Natalie you all know Natalie I mean you want to look at a woman who has overcome an awful lot in her life and is full of grace empathy and she is probably uh, the, one of the most kindest sharing people 
that I know of. You know, she she gives so much of herself, and you, you can see her beauty. Inner and outer beauty is there. I love Natalie. I absolutely love Natalie, and I know many of you do as well. So make sure you check out their videos. So this collab is the best foundations and concealers and powders. So I kind of feel like I'm a little bit out of my element because I don't really have a ton of makeup, but I do have some favorites. And so my favorites, I'm gonna start with foundation because everything builds from there for me. So foundations that I really love, I have three high-end foundations. The, my all-time favorite high-end for me anyways, it may not be for everyone, is going to be my Estee Lauder. I absolutely love the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I, I wear this as a tried and true. I have Pebble. I bought a new shade Freesia, mixing them both, but I love my Estee Lauder. Tried and true, holds up, true for me all day. You think they call it a 24-hour wear. I never wear my foundation for 24 hours, so I couldn't say that for sure. But I can put this on in the morning and come home at night and not have to touch up or go out to dinner and not have to touch up at all. Uh, the only thing I usually end up touching up later in the day would be lipstick. I love my Estee Lauder. On top of that, next to that, would be my Lancome. The Lancome for me is just beautiful. It is a beautiful finish, a beautiful foundation. And I know like not every foundation is gonna work for every single person, but for me, I love my Lancome. And then third on the high end is going to be the YSL. I love the YSL. The YSL, uh, I don't have the perfect color for the, the YSL. It's really pricey, but I mix this with a little bit of a pigment mixer to give it more of a cooler shade because this is really warm, the shade I have. A little bit more of a cooler shade, I mix it. It is, it is beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. So uh, my three, my three favorite and tried and true Definitely my Estee Lauder number one, my Lancome, and my YS, my YSL. Love those foundations. Now that's high end or sort of high end. My favorite drugstore foundation for quite a while has been the um, Kick Ass Foundation. Now this is sort of the dupe for the uh, CYO that I used to love that they stopped making. But I have the Kick Ass Foundation for drugstore. It it just is a super beautiful coverage for me. It lasts all day, it, it, it's a nice coverage, it builds, it, it gives me skin-like appearance, and it's something that just does not fail me. I have no desire to try every foundation that comes out because I'm thrilled with the kick-ass, and I am thrilled with my second choice for foundation for drugstore is definitely number seven. I love the Hydro Luminous. This is a beautiful, beautiful finish. I also have the Lift and Luminate. I'm not going to open this up. It's still in the box. Of these have have I think I've gone through maybe three or four of the Lift and Luminate and two of these, the Hydro Luminous. I love it. So number seven, boots number seven. Those are my drugstore. Those are my drugstore, and they're tried and true for me. I'd be really curious to see what Natalie shares with the best foundation and also what Julia shares because they they probably have different skin tones, different skin types. My skin is probably closer to Natalie's as far as the tone, but um, yeah, so I'll be really, really curious to see what they, what they share. So along with foundations comes concealers. So uh, I have been for quite a while a benefit girl when it comes to concealers. You know, again, tried and true, right? Things that I really love that I've bought over and over again. All three of these are the, the benefit concealer. Um, this is the industrial strength and I really need that. I have veins on my nose that I really wanna cover. Then I have a lighter, more luminous one that I use as well. That's Boeing, as they call it. So I have three of them and I also have one that's in a stick that I really like that I use for under my eyes, but it's in my bag, it's not in here. So to me, that is definitely my number one concealer. The next concealer that I'm going to use is gonna be the Age Rewind. I like this, I like the lighter formula of it. I have a really light one that I, I use sometimes around my inner eye, and then you can see both of these are well used. 
these are the these are the two that I, I really use. I like this a lot. I think the Age Rewind is a perfect concealer, easy to carry, doesn't dry out. You don't have too many moving parts. You just lift it off and you know you tw you twist the little sponge and you and you apply it. Really, really like it. For high end though, however, I have the uh, YSL, and oh my gosh. These are beautiful. I have one that's really a higher coverage one and one that's a lighter coverage one. I love them. So if I'm going somewhere, I'm going out to dinner, I want to have a little bit of a concealer in my bag, this is what's going in there. I, I think that is just, there. it's a beautiful, again, it's a pricey concealer. So you can see foundation, YSL, my concealer, YSL, really like that powders oh gosh i have a tray of powders i mean a tray of powders but the the one that i use the most is my flower beauty my flower beauty light illusion i to me this is just a perfect a perfect foundation a uh, perfect powder i have a fluffy brush i put it on as a finishing powder I'm not a powder person. This is the one that I grab 99% of the time. My all-time favorite, and what is it? Six bucks, I think. All-time favorite. Flower Beauty Light Illusion. I love it. Perfect, perfect. The next one I have is, is uh, I have a Becca powder. And this is a little loose powder. So, you know, you, t you can lift it up and then it's got the little, little net. And then you just put it on and you and you put it on your face, you, you know, with a, a big brush. I fluff it on my face. I like this powder a lot, but I'll tell you, hands down, I'd go for this one before I went for this one. I have number seven powders. I have essence powders. I have a essence banana powder, which before I got the, the essence banana powder was my favorite. I dropped this and the lid came off. But this was my absolutely favorite powder. So it's a banana powder. It just brightened my skin, and I used it as a setting powder as well. I recommend is going to be my Flower Beauty. I, this is the one I love. It's affordable. It's a beautiful. If you haven't tried it, go ahead and try it. I think I got mine at CVS. Um, and I have Light Illusion in Porcelain. Love it. Absolutely love it. So I'm really going to be curious to see what Natalie and Julia share with you. I'm sure Natalie's going to have a ton of beautiful products. Oh my gosh. Every time I watch her videos, I go on a shopping trip. But I love it and um, I love makeup and skincare and doing, doing what I can to look as best as I possibly can. So I was thrilled to do this collab and if you're new to my channel, if you, if you join me from Natalie's channel or from Julia's channel, Thank you so much. I would really appreciate it if you were to subscribe to my channel, if you'd ring that notification bell. Leave me a comment below. Let me know that you're from their channel. And if you're going over from my channel, please say hello from me to both Julia and Natalie if you've not been there. They are both beautiful ladies, and I'm sure you're going to be in for a treat when you watch their videos. Thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you in my next video.